massive geopolitical tension with Gaza and Ukraine both remaining hot creates significant uncertainties as far as global macro and micros are concerned. This is also backed by the fact that global oil prices have started going up once again and this doesn't augur well for many emerging economies including India. Hardening US yields and tough stand by US Fed also creates risk aversion amongst global investors. Now none of these are conducive for capital markets or but capital markets of India in particular. But having said that there are multiple domestic factors which are ensuring that Indian markets are under pressure but still remaining buoyant with volatility, short term pulls and pressures but still not collapsing. We have recent uh, early concluded decent monsoon. There were ups and downs but the monsoon by and large were okay. We have challenges as far as rural demand pickup is concerned and corporate results for Q2 whatever has come out have been by and large mixed bag. Under the circumstances what is keeping Indian markets uh, afloat and buoyant has been solid domestic investments. Now close to a 2 billion per month is coming uh, to the markets via SIP and this is providing a solid support for Indian markets. As far as overall trend and trajectory is concerned fundamentals haven't changed and Indian macro and micro factors continue to remain positive. However, short to medium term looks turbulent and volatile long term continues to remain positive. Under the circumstances investors would do well to look at sectors which are uh, still having positive tailwind behind them. IT is probably avoidable on account of a soft commentary by most IT uh, management and expectation of demand pickup not happening even in Q3. Uh, FMCG has been by and large flat with expectation of rural demand picking up in the near future uh, during the festival season. However, construction and infrastructure related sectors continue to remain buoyant and uh, it would be wise for investors to look for appropriate uh, companies in these sectors. We believe that mid-sized uh, mid cement companies are uh, 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 in a positive zone with uh, margins increasing on account of reduction of costs and of course uh, m a possibilities. We also like some of the other construction related companies like pipes uh, and uh, construction material companies. Wellspun Corp is uh, has been our favorite for some time. We also like companies like Larsen and Dubrow which after recent bout of correction does look uh, once again attractive at current levels. Thank you.